comes. What's up, SABC One viewers? I'm going to tell TOMZ, your one-stop show for science, technology, history, and everything in between. Yeah, I'm going to SABC One, Mzanti for Sean. Mzanti is a land of many opportunities, interesting places, and a wealth of resources. Agriculture is one of them, and then I'm going will be exploring how this wonderful industry is making an impact through utilizing of African soil. There's so much more to agriculture than just planting crops and raising cattle. And then I'm going we are getting a peek behind the scenes of the educational aspect of agriculture as well as finding out more about the creative ways in which everyday people can aid in creating a sustainable future. So I was wondering how agriculture has evolved Kona Lime Zanzi and make sure you get hands on tools for learning more about this wonderful industry and how it works and why it is so vital for survival. And of course follow us with Kabangaganjani so be sure to raise your voice on our social media pages and we will be chatting to you guys in our social Heads up as well up next Get an overview of the incredible agriculture industry in Monamo, South Africa. Visit a world-class place where teaching agri is the norm. Over know what micro-farming is all about. Meet some of the best people inspired by nature to make a difference. Honor an incredible woman who is changing the way we provide food. Get a glimpse of the history of agriculture. Hubana how it survived Dindwa. Discover ways in which you can get virtually knee-deep in your own agricultural adventures. And listen to some words of wisdom from our special guests. Omzanti has an incredible agriculture industry and ranks high in comparison to the rest of the world. As I'm in Sobwana, what the state of agriculture Konalai Mzanti actually looks like. Looking after the land and cultivating it. Kondaneng is a farmer. Is in Zagale Mangabo Ufagi in the Pans in the Kulis in Peo, then Genzugo Lange for the Umzans in Jewong. Agriculture involves wine, maybe planting, having his own like yard there with some sort of like verges. Everything that's alive is dependent on the plants, and that is what I would say agriculture is. Sugar cane. Okay, I'd, I'd say maize. Citrus, lots, sports, lots of fruits, citrus. Sexporter, i damati, i wine, um, sugar. Africa will run a dual agriculture economy. Hoho Ring, it has both a commercial farming sector as well as a subsistence based production. Mulungoro production is only used to support the family who undertake farming it. South Africa is one of the world's largest producers of chicory roots, grapefruit, cereals, and maize. It has a massive dairy industry that provides employment for 60,000 farm workers. Nahayaruna, a producer, many other crops, Reloka, sorghum, the peanuts, sunflower seeds, beans, and different kinds of fruits, as well as exporting the crops at Wanangi sugarcane. Cattle and sheep farming is also avid in South Africa, and hides and skins that are produced from this sector are popular for export purposes. The agriculture industry in South Africa is in the hands of the Department of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries, who are responsible for supporting our agriculture sector, low net are safe and nutritious food production for everybody. Good nutrition and a balanced diet is essential for a healthy body and mind. God, you need to have good access to good food in order to obtain it. Food security is a very big thing in the 21st century and Aruna about how a truly South African initiative is making it happen. Nakina Madhu Kalaba, ke Murudishi mo University ya Pretoria, ka mo le fa peng la timo le tsa economy. Economy ya timo mo University ya Pretoria. Wo botlo kwa hore molimi wa wa le khono a be le tsebo ya hore molimi wa jwa. Wo shumishwa di chemical ja mkhuta mang. The lojao sana li pula li utona di climate change. Di na li kwelezo e kholo mo timo. So kubo tlokwa kudu kudu wari timo irutuwe. Kos kolong le kamo gaya uftela le kamo mashemo. Bo university ina li se recibijang community programs. So mo di program mwenze re khwana ukopana le batu baba chwa mwome zing re khwana ukopana le balimi. So, Balimi, Rebana lead workshop Lebon. But Halo Sadi Logelo ring Bacopana Lejona, Lewaring, Egabadi to Jamatalje, the Fin, the Nagishu Jam Kutamang, Jedigabacola. 
ge ele di di golo le bana ba banyane le jona di program ja mkudo re na le jona emba re di dira go ya ka gopelo o ba ge skolo se gopetse o reng go disha bana mo plasing ya o tsona le ane ya rena then re ba tsia ra ba isha mo mafelong a o fa bana tsona di go mo di go ra ba thalose ja mara re thalosa go ya ka ka mogolo reng kushisho ya bona ya timo e ka gona then ba gona o bona o reng go mo ya o tsweletsa maswi e ka tsweletsa maswi ya makagang ge o dirile jwang jwang e ka mela mutsembisa and ding funda e plant pathology ngenza e masters degree ka lina ke got se gatle ke tswa ke le zanin ke le students la plant pathology plant pathology o mthetho wa yo kuthi se ya bantu aba ama doctor we jalo so umthetho wethu ukuthi sithatha ijalo and then sibheka ukuthi njengabantu nabo bathola ukugula sometimes nathi siyabheka ukuthi yini engabe ininkinga and then thina sizama ukuyilungisa so that ukudla loku okuhambayo kwabantu phambili kulungile focus yaka on the on the seeds dipeu so rena we have to make sure dipeu che they are in the most perfect condition pele ready for the farmer so rena what what we do is Richard uh, this is shape then we normally uh, place her on on these plates ready uh, the egg plates these plates have uh, the nutrients for for the microorganisms in the whole from John so what happens is if this is shady infected by the microorganisms shape the as as seen on this plate but if uh, the seeds are of good quality then nothing will grow off the plate if they don't grow and they're good quality then we recommend it to the farmer or now you can use these seeds they are of good quality you might even get a good yield like you find a, a nice sunflower at the end of the day and you can still make your sunflower oil without worrying about uh, the pests on the sunflower chaga into sibonile since ama farmer sebenza sana nama academy ukuthi ngoba thina seyazi lezinto leza bazidingayo ukuthi ijalo zabo zikhule kahle ukuthi zikhule ngcono ukuthi zibe nama nutrients angcono than eqaleni kune yield e increase ayo and into sibonile nakhona ukuthi i feel the plant pathology aksi into yamanje into yakudala kodwa ke ngoba isikhathi siyahamba and siya improve nge technology ngento ezilingi siyakwazi ukuthi lento lezi bangazenzi kudala ama plant pathologists nama farmers sikwazi ukuzenza thina namhlanje ukuthi sikwazi ukukhusela izinto from ukuthi singayenzakali sekuleyi umnandi kanjani ubona inja yelala emzansi ukuthi they getting ready to take the reins and keep south africa's agriculture scene thriving so lorna na hlabe ro bona how others in the city are also working for change we learn about the wonders of micro farming. Green thumbs are helping to alleviate poverty with nature. Hello again, Mr. Bugele. It's TOMZ, your favorite side tech show. It's all about SABC One Mzanti for sure. Uh huh. Agriculture is an essential part of South Africa's economy, as well as a provider for the needs of its citizens. Agriculture has many different facets, but the main aim of the game is utilizing natural resources in a sustainable way. Rolotonolohaholuti has many inspiring people who are working to make sure that we have food for the future. Namtlanje, we are paying them a visit to see exactly just how they do it and how important it is. In the next part of our journey, when we learn about the wonders of micro farming. Green thumbs are helping to alleviate poverty with nature. the natural world around us and make sure that we have enough resources for future generations. Unfortunately, this is not always such an easy task. Isizwe Ezning are struggling to keep the balance between providing for their people and taking care of Mother Earth. The macro farms are independent farms that are run on a small part of land. They range from the size of a big garden behind a house to plants grown on the balcony of a small apartment. 15% of the world's food stems from micro farming, and it is believed for Eneke, one of the industries, Elumore Etlohola extensively, Micro farming is a great way to produce food for the families as they are not affected by increasing food prices and have the surety of their own crop to sustain their family. They can build up a set of tools as their garden grows and even expand it to additional available space. 
Dimacro Farmer Sedinga Tadisabedis are companion planting as a means of making the most of their available space. This means Horobakona will plant different crops very close to one another so they can help in nutrient uptake, pest control, and pollination. Micro farming is an easy and sustainable way to provide food for yourself. Growing your own food may seem like a massive challenge. In planning, thousands of people are starting their own veggie and fruit gardens. Kasalimu Lisalimu. Hey, I'm on Maluleke. I'm a food and health cooperative. Really, my spinach is going to be the for to supplement the ions and, and some vitamins. Really, my vocal and then which supplement vitamin C. Really, my carrots for vitamin A. Really, my to that that only the herbs or Renati Fazer the Dijota Runa and then then to the Luo Midi for traditional cuisine. I know you know market war Runa or or the more fit a more supply and cow, which means demand ya or na e fit a ka more really man ka or na kar but vanya ka Dijota the limit natural because we don't use the chemicals. Kari and to the Redi Udisa organically. Cooperative we are now on banana food and help. If I go more the city of Jobek, more on the low retusha of mana excess umu, the excess umeti, and then Gi on I gabang in the flagship in the city of Jobek. The lottery, the Lumang, and three segment of, of market. And I let the ready sang spa like I never only born at the time I saw. And I let the Rena Lima get the Cassandi, Yem William Moko Bluebird Market, more like sang to the public than Naldi walk in customers. Say the Tanga more, the Tarzi Fita di Topella di di Hete, Miro Ye by Yakang, and then fill a basket, and then they buy, and then we've got a community which benefit a lot. And if you're a cooperative, gore, some at home, gore. Even if we go and live with other, a woman live in as an individual. City of Jobek, you know, in order to survive, we have to be self-sustainable. We have to be self-sustainable. Gore, ga 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 man jama, even the Lord would did. We have to be self-sustainable. We have to be self-sustainable. We have to be self-sustainable. City of Job and the social development if I'm your now but Waba Batomang Lima telling with the cooperative. I come along me on Neba Mulwele, me member a mayoral committee with City of Johannesburg, responsible for health and social development. This is one of the first card year to SI developer like with City of Johannesburg. Sibone Guyo Uguti cooperatives and expand expand areas the city of Johannesburg. Uh, involved it is because Masingena go government uh, with him le ekale ngo 2011. Sitema senza ama assessment of Johannesburg Kunenda ula e Johannesburg, e guna bantu abapua, abalala denga langa. They are families, abalala without a plate yogula on the table. So we then went back to the drawing board as mayoral committee, and then we then had a part of the top ten priorities as mayor: food. Agriculture and food security. Kira yaro na yaka choko kimi melong huru unaldi talente tiri ngata haholo. Yena usebedi sabo pilo bahay ka ufela huru akono ufukata poverty and enable food security in struggling communities. Kachako she has her own foundation with many dedicated individuals. Ba kono mutu sorry yena aita a dream a reality through her mind mobilization approach. Arba na lorlo na latubor kibwa kamang. South African female activist working with food security in Kalman. I have no idea. Isn't it uh, Matepo? We started the Matepo Kumbani Foundation. 
Matt Teppo is the founder of the Matt Teppo Kumbani Foundation, who strives to provide upliftment of the poor and disadvantaged communities. In 76 years, Usebenze is a qualified teacher, social worker, development manager, and facilitator. She was a founder of the Water for Food movement and received numerous awards for Umsebenze Wake, including the Woman in Water Lifetime Achievement and National Order of the Biobab in Bronze for her contribution in helping poor communities Umsebenze Ama Natural Resources to provide food. And Zimini Akinye Kalenin, Ufundi Sabantu and groups how to utilize what is available to them through grassroots development and empowerment programs. Her legacy continues in the work of her foundation and we are grateful for her incredible spirit that is changing the lives of those in need through agriculture. What's been your thought of Tola Gabans, how agriculture in South Africa has stood the test of time and get some cool apps. Don't go anywhere. I know you know it how SA's agri-industry started. Kapam Kumungalurwanoka enjoy the concept of having your own farm. Find out after the break. Farms. Farms. Welcome back. You are still tuned into TOMZ, your favorite science and technology show, Konalago SAPC One. I'm Zanti Fushur. So, plume nam no kamo, and nam kanga jebu all about agriculture. Guti ihi ni guti sebenza ganja no guti gunga ni ibalugi le fu abantu balam zanti. We're finding out about the different ways in which abantu balam zanti are using their own skills to relieve poverty and hang out with some of the coolest green thumbs around. Absolutely, linga kotlo guti. We've got our social session coming up soon, so be sure to leave a comment on our Facebook page and give us a tweet on Twitter tweets. That's one of the good things learning up next. See how agriculture has evolved through time in South Africa. Chat with every student about their dreams for the future while getting some rad advice. And get your hands on a few applications that will expand your knowledge in a fun way. Agricultural works have been around La Mzansi for hundreds of years and has changed considerably over time in the way it is managed and protected. Dee is going to tell us how. Check it out. African farmers settled La Mzansi about 1700 years ago. With methods they learned in Cameroon and Nigeria. They settled along the river and lake sites Masabin Sa'ama lands like the bush fell for wood collection and grazing in grasslands for crops. They also kept domestic cattle, sheep and goats. Jumping ahead to the 1900s, the Second World War had a big impact on farming activities and agriculture was mainly employed for private consumption. These farming sectors experienced high levels of growth and expansion until the 1960s. In the early 1900s, the government had marketing boards which closely regulated the production and marketing of agricultural products to counteract increased inflation. Later in the 19th 1990s, the government was able to release these strict marketing rules and focus on small-scale developing agriculture. Logo Gungna did to stabilize the field and Namshanje, thousands are able to provide living for themselves named Niabo through agricultural life. You can go to Hailo Ruano but we Twitter about making a career in agriculture. So Lagabanzi, what inspired the future agri-kings and queens to get involved and what their dreams look like? Farmers, hanchi had a direct packet in the seeds, it's in tons, thousands and thousands of kilograms of, of seeds. So if the seeds are and they are of very poor quality, this farmer is going to lose a lot of his yield. Uh, sunflower, for instance, as Nike focus on sunflower, Utobiala sunflower are high. Then later on, I realized our no, I didn't mean to infected. So if we already treated beforehand and are making sure we did treated the the farmer will lose millions of, of rands during that season. So we, we play an important role of prevention before the farmer has to plant the fields. Kakwa cooperative is a good job creation because if we are land young then we are and then inside the city, which is difficult, I is I will But anyway, skills transfer health wise but dealing fresh from the ground, not fresh from the market, uncompromised freshness. Of course, we use Katakana social session time. Kunalago T O E Z, where we chat to you guys via our social media pages. We could find Facebook and, and Twitter. We smile a little one to you guys are actually interested in agriculture and want to start your own micro farm one day. Well, it's a good thing because it's a relief to financial burden of buying food for a family. 
Definitely. Good to hear that we have Orion who says, Thanks, Tom's another stellar episode full of entertainment. And Uchodi and Funuwazi, what kind of vegetables would be the best for our own veggie patch? And Bumalanga, well, Jodi, that part of the country gets a wonderful summer rainfall. Futi Unama options are maning different types of cabbage, carrots, beans, squash, kale, zonke, all of those are all great options. And same goes for regions with the same climatic conditions. Jenga Sekhauteng, Pumalanga, KZN, Northwest, Nasa Free State. Seeing that there are so many of you who are interested in starting your own crops one day, I summon to learn some green thumbs from our guests on today's show. Let's go. Let's go. I was able to get a degree in plant pathology. I was able to get a degree in agriculture. I was able to get a consultant. I'm a farmer as a guy, as a killer, a seizer, a goody, when a boy, a goody, yin, inking, a banana, a family, a boy, and over niggas, a young, a zulu, a gulu, king, a lay, a banana. And in Tonga, you see pathologists in Jonga called free, la, ukala corner, whether from Imbeu, la, ukala corner, upega, goody, inazo, a maxi one, and noma, I now, Osemenza Guleb, and Utala Utesta goody, la, masid, la, about saying is I, Guma farmer, a healthy or not. And in Tonga, you researcher. La Ushala Officini and Uepega Guti Kona in a current in a pandle, Amanyama researchers with plant pathology, Ayanzani, and Guti Ninga Hambaranjani, Pambi, the Wule Field, Lene plant pathology. Just Guti, our Tom's fans are always inspired to act. So it's time to get your hands on a few apps that will get you going on your own agricultural endeavor. Hey Day is an awesome farming app where you can grow and customize your very own farm. You can plant, trade crops, hang out with your neighbors to see how they are doing, sell crops from your truck or steamboat, and even build your own town. Kulula Oksebenzisa and a super exciting way to get your hands virtually dirty. Now you are more into learning about the real things that go on behind the agriculture industry, Risk Branch is the app for you. It comprises of an educational game with real life contact and will teach you about the economics of agriculture. You play through all four seasons, raising your steer and dodging all kinds of risks to make a profit. It's so true to the real risk of agriculture, Giatusa, and it's a surefire way to show you that you've got what it takes. For more info on these apps and today's show, Svagashel on our website, go www.tamp.co.za and follow the links. And that's the end of our show, Mzanti. Let's recap for Kacheko, Runa Ritutile in. We saw what agriculture is all about Monama South Africa. We hung out with a few students to find out what preparing for a career in agriculture looks like. We discovered the wonders of micro farming. Rashaki is an amazing garden project that is helping with provide that digital and security for Batsubaba Kupehile. We honored a legendary woman who is changing the way we look at farming in Mzansi. We had a quick trip through the history of agri in South Africa. We explored a few applications that could get you started on your own farm. And we got some inspiring career tips from our wonderful guests. So if you want to know more, go to www.tlmz.co.za and follow the links. Next time for another awesome adventure with Gamoy and and me. Same time, same place. Goodbye, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> Next time on Tom's, it's with the astronomical event called Equinoxes. Find out what the Equinox is. Discover an amazing place filled with the science of space and see how different cultures value these special events. Don't miss Tom's every Monday and Tuesday at 4 p.m. on SABC1 Mzansi for sure.